Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cool Cats Paradise here on Tendal Gaming. And as per the usual, we are back in Boundless. Today with a different kind of video, one that uh, me and some friends and, you know, the community has been talking uh, about this topic of beacons and land and all that stuff. And before, you know, you get too invested into the thumbnail and the title... I just know that this is coming from a place of love, as it always is with this game. So we're going to go ahead and sit down and uh, talk about this here. So, recently, uh, you should be able to see it on your screen here. And uh, down in the description, the link to the forum post from the great devs over at Wonderstruck. They put out a kind of a feeler, like, uh, give us your opinion on transferring and selling beacons and it goes a little bit deeper than that so there's been a lot to talk about regarding issues with beacons and plots and people taking over settlements from other people kind of not in a nice way so when this came up the whole idea was like oh great so people that have you know maybe like a thousand plots could bury or someone in and it's like well maybe we would see a lot of griefing or or this or that so there's a lot of stuff so i'm going to give all my opinions but first i feel like it is important to run through the three questions that are in here number one do you feel land speculation is a legitimate tactic currently it has 222 votes we can uh, we can take a look at the results here, but the the way I kind of feel about it, I, I think I think it's kind of uh, it's it's a tough issue, you know. It, it's smart to you know get a bunch of land ready that you want to use at a later time, you know, because building can be slow, and you know maybe you're managing multiple characters, maybe you're part of a guild, maybe you you know you don't have a lot of time to play, so maybe it would make sense for you to, you know, get all the land together that you want, plot it up, and and all that. But there's, like, a couple of, of things going on here, because people could do that, and then, you know, if we can actually sell them to people, we could be selling land at a premium, for example, and or we could actually make it so that what uh, the second question here is, do you feel land speculation is pay to win? Honestly, it could get to that point. Higher tiered backers have more percentage or a higher percentage of plots. So they could technically be given more access, more stuff to really utilize in the game. So I don't know. It, it's a very tough one on, on the is it pay to win? And I, I know there's been lots of discussion in uh in this game on whether it's pay to win in, in certain aspects you know with the exchange and all the things going on with that with this i feel like i feel like maybe we should get to the third question here before i get through all this uh the third question here would you like to see a system in place where you could easily and safely transfer beacons for coin this one i you know i'm i'm in the same same mind frame like all, all these questions let, let's answer them all together so do i feel that it's a legitimate tactic yeah i think it can be um you could have land that people could want and i think that would be pretty smart that maybe you could sell and dig out a part of land for somebody in a really like nice organic way that could be very helpful that I think is it, you know would be a good use of of selling a beacon that has a bunch of land makes it a lot easier. Where it can become pay to win again, I already referenced. It could actually be exploited in that way too. You could bury a, a settlement in, you know, have two large scale uh, plots and beaconed on two sides of a settlement and basically lock them in. You know, they could go other directions, but it would make it kind of difficult for them to really enjoy their experience in the game. And that's really not what balance is about. This is supposed to be 
about the community, the players, and I feel like we would probably get into a really weird state if we're doing kind of what some people are already doing. They're purposely moving their stuff into one spot so that to make it difficult for others. This hasn't happened a lot, but it but it does happen. And it can get kind of weird when people control the stuff. So do I think it should be for coin? I'm like, Ugh, not necessarily. The thing that has been going on and discussed within the community and definitely within the guild is that there should be some sort of thing like this, probably maybe like a district kind of thing to start out, see, see how it all shakes out. But more importantly, this kind of stuff should be opt in. So when someone wants to plot near you and maybe their settlement is bigger than yours and is going to actually absorb yours, you would have the choice to say, I don't want to be absorbed or yes, I want to be absorbed. So this would make it really easy, especially for guilds, because all that stuff would just be managed through through a guild system, which we would all love that, of course. And it would also prevent this whole like pay to win and kind of griefing, which we really don't want in this game. So that's really my opinion on the whole thing. Am I on board with it? Parts of it. I think it's a smart idea to put the question out to the community and see what they think. Now, I don't know what's gonna happen from this because these devs are usually very good about coming to a beautiful compromise with the community in a way that makes it easy for everyone to kind of not always get what they want, but it makes it easier to kind of see where everyone's coming from. And hopefully this is the start of one of those processes because I really want there to be some kind of system where guilds and you know people that are in other guilds can kind of be allies with each other I think this is the potential system for that that whole beautiful scenario of this big community coexisting in this world that we spend so much time in so I am really interested to see where this goes. What do you guys think? Hit up the comments down below with your thoughts and let me know. I'm sure this is going to be a heck of a conversation. Just looking at the forums, there's been, you know, a couple people here and there, but there's some really good discussion around it. So that link will be down in the description. Go ahead and check uh, out the forum post, vote on all the stuff. They really want to know, and I think this is a big deal. So go ahead and check all that stuff out. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video here. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit the dislike button if you didn't like the video. That's fine too. And I hope to see you again. Maybe hit that subscribe button in a future video. Thanks for watching. Meow. And have an awesome day.